Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and uh, <laughs> I'm in shock. Patrick Reed Johnson is the guy who made five twenty-five seventy-seven, <laughs> and he comment he commented on my review. I I made a review for this movie. I watched this movie last night, and it completely uh, destroyed me emotionally. I I'm I'm still. Uh, emotional from watching this movie and uh, like I I emailed my my daughters and my brother and I said you need to watch this and I gave them a link to the IMDB for the movie and because I know they'll all love it they'll all love it and I, I made this review and I was kind of I've kind of been in a bad place I, you know I, I had COVID and uh, I was really, really sick. And there's just been some other extraneous stuff going on where I've been kind of manipulated by some people and treated poorly, which is no, it's that's the story of my life. But long and short of it is, I, the way I made the review, I, I made it as telling people to avoid it. Like, don't, don't watch this movie, meaning if, if it's anything that I think is good, it's bad because that's my perception. That's how things have been for a while for me now is I use this YouTube channel to recommend stuff that I like and no, nobody goes for it. It's like what, what the public wants is just garbage. And then I, I find stuff that stands apart that really has value, you know, and I'll, I'll hold that out into the light and say, hey, look over here, and people won't look. People won't, they won't take the time out. So it it gets it gets taxing, you know? If you've ever been down that road or found yourself in that position, it, it, it can really calcify your heart towards the public. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read what he wrote. Uh, well, I wrote, it's the, <laughs> it's funny, it's got six views, and one of them is the director of the movie. <laughs> I wrote, do not watch this movie, it's fucking great. <laughs> if PD likes it, it's bad. And his comment is, okay, you are my favorite reviewer ever. I was mortified when I first started watching, then I got it. The way that you got 525.77. <laughs> Thank you so much for understanding in this perfectly wonderful review. So, I'm, I'm making this video now because I my reply was that I like I want I want to let the guy know I I'm really sincere. Like I. We went down that same path and we played around with making some Super 8 movies. More than one. And I believe my brother won like the best picture uh, at the at the, the, high, the high school that we went to is in LaGrange, Illinois. And it's called LTHS, Lions Township High School. And they had a filmmaking and animation class. He took it. He's four years older than me. And we went through and made these films. And then I took it. I, I was in a private school, which was really bad. Really bad. I was picked on horrifically. And then we lost my father to cancer. And then I ended up getting a chance to go to the public school for my senior year. Now, by the time senior year comes around, I... I I jokingly say I was the invisible kid that I just didn't uh, I didn't exist there but uh, I didn't ha didn't have any friends I had I had met a group of kids and I was playing in a band so that was that was in another town that was in in like Hickory Hills which is more south or more closer to the city than uh, North LaGrange where I went to school. So 
that was my deal, and I did take that class, and I did dabble with it and make a make a little bit of Super Eight stuff. But the the work that I did with my brother, he he was the one that. Uh, you know, my my thing was music. And I I did that class because I had already kind of done the class. You know, every time he had that camera, I was with him. I was all, always there. We did stop motion, so I would operate the plunger. But then, you know, I was acting in a lot of it. And some of the stuff was mine. I came up with the whole main sequence that's the end of our best movie. That's all me. The, the whole end was my idea. Because he, he got to a certain point and didn't know what to do. And that's where my having me there and he he couldn't see it he was like how how would we how would we do that and what we did is the best effect it's what when we showed it we we had a show a screening in, with the neighborhood people came over and that was when one of the adults screamed <laughs> so uh, the whole point of me making this video is I wanted to have a place where I can link these my Super 8 stuff because I know that Patrick Reed Johnson would get a kick out of it. So I'm going to collect that stuff because we did digitize it and I, I've got a few of those. There's just a small amount of them. And it would mean a lot to me uh, for Patrick Reed Johnson to uh, check that out. 965. Gee, I, I wonder if he's born in September. I, my birthday is the uh, the equinox. The autumnal equinox. Were they just talking about that in the movie yesterday? I, I, don't, I don't remember. Some movie that I they were talking about the autumnal equinox. So, yeah, but I was born, I wasn't born in 65. See, my Eric, he's... It, it, now, according to Wiki, he was not born in 65. He was born in May of 62. Uh, That's according to Wikipedia. Well, yeah, I don't know. This, this is Patrick Reed Johnson, 965. Um, when was Eric born? 63? So yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm what four years younger than him. So yeah, um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. I my wife and I have to make some music. We're musicians and we're gonna be. We've got a, a ten song. It's ten like uh, guitar instrumentals going back to 1948, and I think the last latest one is 1984. We're gonna be playing here tonight. We're gonna. Uh, we make music in our living room with a headphone system. We stay here in Westmont in, in our two-bedroom apartment with our little cat, Kita. And we're, we're going to be we're going to be making music here tonight. And, I, and I'm going to watch the Ronnie James Dio <laughs> documentary, which I'm really looking forward to seeing that. But I got to tell you, this uh, 525 77 movie. It was fantastic. You guys, I cannot tell you how much I enjoyed watching this. And I, I know I did my little spin on the review. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this short because we, we, we need to get going here. And uh, I'm going to put some links in the description of this video. And hopefully I can I can get the attention of Patrick Reed Johnson and he can, he can check these... Super 8 movies out because I know he'd get a kick out of them and if you guys are a fan of this channel you know who I am and you haven't seen any of this stuff well you owe it to yourself to watch this and uh, I mean I could very well put it the other way don't don't watch it you'll, you'll end up having a much more fulfilling life not seeing the Super 8 movies that me and my brother made when we were kids does that sound better? <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, 
I can't I can't believe it. <laughs> I got this comment from this director. I mean, this movie, it it like it blew me away. It really blew like I've been emotional all day because of watching it. And uh, just getting a comment from the director is it's really cool. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourselves and don't forget to hug your pets. Peace.